phenoxyethanol. This I debated on including in the top 10, but I see it all over the place, even in natural products. And when I study it, I'm like, that's not good. This is not something that we want to be putting on our skin, putting on our kids over and over and over and over. So phenoxyethanol is a preservative. So you'll find it in so many products, but definitely in cosmetics. Uh, but baby wipes and nail polish and hand sanitizer, even an ultrasound gel contains phenoxyethanol. You'll see it listed as phenoxyethanol and there might be some numbers around it, but you'll see it, it written out phenoxyethanol. I looked at that ingredients and MSDS, which is material safety data sheet. And it says harmful if swallowed, inhaled or absorbed through the skin. And I'm thinking, isn't that what we do with our personal care products is we put them on the skin. Yeah. So to me, that's like, okay, then why is it in there? Why is it allowed? Exposure to phenoxyethanol has been linked to everything from eczema to severe uh, allergic reactions. I see this all the time. Um, the information that I read, infant exposure to phenoxyethanol can ac acutely affect the nervous system. Phenoxyethanol is in diapers and all kinds of baby products. It can cause reproductive damage. So, real world examples, a vino moisturizer, Ecos dish soap, isn't that supposed to be clean? Wet ones wipes that are all over the schools. So, flip it over, flip your products over if you see phenoxyethanol or anything with numbers, phenoxyethanol with numbers, just know it's not something that you want to bring home with you.